Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back at Let's Play Residents of Fate on the Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we did some more side quests that involved getting some uh, iris something or other for clothing, and we got semi-new outfits, so yay. Didn't really do a whole lot in that last episode except for that, and then advanced to the next chapter, which is Solo of Asheron. So we bought the new gun at the shop here. And then off screen, I went ahead and customized it, and it turned out pretty nice. So, here is our current Avesheron gun here 81 charge speed, 13 charge acceleration, 79 rapid fire, 77 bullet focus, 18 uh, magazine size, and 424 weight. Our new gun, which I made sure to fill out as best as I possibly could, um, yeah, very nice. So, 129 charge speed compared to 81, so that's going to get that first charge off much faster. 15% compared to 13% for the charge acceleration. Uh, better rapid fire, even though this one supposedly specializes in rapid fire. Better focus, uh, bullet focus, uh, better magazine size, because apparently I had a M uh, machine gun magazine plus 12 lying around. I don't know where the heck we got that from. It must have been from a side quest that I just completely forgot about. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, and it's lighter weight too somehow. So, yeah. So it's actually really nice. And I probably didn't get it perfect, but I did use a bunch of my scrapped whatevers to buy new parts and such. And I tried to get it as good as I could, and I think I did. Um, yeah, if we had like an extra like square, or an extra like a uh, column on one side to the left or the right it would be perfect and we could add slightly more to the to the left side but we didn't so i did the best that i could i was thinking of um cannibalizing some of the parts from the other guns but i don't think it actually needs it like it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be like the worst idea ever but i don't think it actually is necessary but yeah i think it's reasonably good and even compared to the one that leanne was using it's actually pretty good too uh, yeah, better, better charge speed and its charge acceleration, better rapid fire, better bullet focus. Then again, this is missing five bullet focus from the machine gun drum right there, which makes it barely win out in the ammo department. And this slightly, slightly lighter. So I get I, if we can if we can get the, this one right here slightly betterly pimped out, it might be it might turn out to be as good as this one right here. But for the moment, I think I like my MP.05C. I'm not sure what the attack power is at the moment, but we'll see. Let's see, six attack power, zero break, three knockback. Okay. Versus, okay, it has one extra attack power, so that's actually not too shabby right there. Alright, let's do it. And yeah, we're going to have the grenade box for um, direct damage, so that should work out pretty good. We're not going to go ahead and go to the Hunter's Guild because, well, there's... They, they, they might try to stick us into some mission that I'd rather not do just yet. Uh, I don't care if there's any new clothes, since I'm pretty happy with the outfits that we got for the most part right now. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And I guess we're heading up to... Where is it? Uh, Chandelier, in order to crash Vacheron's... Or not Vacheron's, Zephyr and Leanne's wedding. I think they're just there to prevent the guy from crashing it. And we're the guy crashing it. And I don't think anybody has any clue that the other party is involved... Hopefully we get up there, we laugh about it, and we say, oh, we don't need to worry about this, we're done, and then we're back to the whole party. That'd be great. Uh, you look kind of scared there, lady. Aren't you? Kind of a pro, if you say so, I guess. Sure. I never actually did check where exactly the mission was. I'm going to guess Basilica. I could be wrong. Square Garden Chandelier. Well, that gives us enough. Uh, that gives us enough. Um, enough hunter points in order to get our next rewards. That's nice. Square Garden of Chandelier. I don't know where that is. I'm gonna guess it's the 
Like I said, I'm going to guess it's the uh, Basilica, but I'm probably wrong. Wait, did they give me... I was about to say, did they give me new hexes to get past uh, the the item that I needed to get to, or the area that I needed to get to, but I don't think it is. In Torion's Manor, yeah, I'm not seeing any exclamation points here, so I'm guessing it's slightly further up. And it's over there. Okay, got it. Um, I don't think I can actually reach it from here, so I gotta go back down. And we'll get to it, I guess. Uh, you wanna get down to the elevator? Thanks. And this is actually going to be our first time in there. Uh, that red thing. I guess that's this kind of like brownish color down here. Now that I'm thinking about it, that Aetercell or whatever that is. Yeah, Aetercell. I'm guessing that's that. Okay, Square Garden. Actually, I don't think I've ever actually read the description. This public sp space sees varied use throughout the year. Couples who are married here are said to be assured everlasting bliss. Ah, bliss. Oh, this, oh, this place right here. Okay, they've never actually let us in. So, how are you? This community center is operated by the Cardinals. Today is the site of Cardinal Jean Paulet's nuptials. Yeah, I guess Leanne makes a decent bride. Okay, and this is going to be a combat area um hmm. i have no i'm gonna guess that the middle part is where we gotta go like that very middle square but i'm not entirely sure so i'm just gonna try my best to get through this place hopefully it's not too late to run. hello uh a bunch of fencers and a hoodlum okay i actually want to see how much damage we're gonna do with our Hey, look at that. There's a lot of bullets right there. I'm, I'm curious if we can just kind of like run past. I didn't know we could actually open these in battle. Huh. Hand grenade EX times 10. Uh, let's see. I'm curious if we can actually just run past these bastards and not have to worry about it. Jeez, that, re that charge is so nice. So fast. Like it's not like perfect. I'm, I'm assuming we could actually get it to, like, higher if we wanted to, but at the moment, that's working, like, really nice. Look at that, that's beautiful. Scratch damage full. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... pop out a... hand grenade plus plus, and let's go ahead and start with that guy right there. Nice. Goodbye. Oh, that did plenty of damage right there. If I can just get these guys like all ready to be scratched up, that'd be fantastic. You're ready. And how about you? Okay, this wall is going to kind of get in the way. I'm going to try... Ooh, actually, that wall kind of worked out great, really. Let's just go with a regular hand grenade there. Yeah, I don't have any way to heal, do I? I do not. You want to kill him? There you go. Um, hmm. Yeah, the whole no way to heal thing is kind of a downer here. You want to get ready to attack their fellow tanks. That'd be great. Okay, we're actually doing reasonably well here. Not perfect, but I'd say good enough. And I think I'm gonna kill this guy and then say screw it and just find the exit because I don't I don't think this is actually gonna work out too terribly well with the whole uh, trying to get over there. Um, I'm looking for a light blue as my exit strategy, and light blue is that way. I think. Yeah. Okay. 
Actually, I see dark blue. I can't seem to notice where the light blue is. Uh, yeah, that's dark blue right there. Um, where the heck is light blue? Feel free to not kill me, guys. Let me uh, just figure out where the heck I'm going, and I'll be out of your hair. Just give me. It's kind of screwy with the way this uh, solo thing works because it's not. Sh what happens is when your when your turn ends, you stop moving, and then you have to let go of the. Where the fuck am I going here? You have to let go of the. Analog stick. Otherwise, you can't you can't keep moving until you let go of it. Okay, there it is. I got it. Jeez, this thing's way hidden up here. Can I get you from over here? I can, but it's not doing that great. You know what? I'm out of here. There might be a boss at the end. I'm not sure. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just gonna go ahead and look for the nearest exit strategy. Okay, so we came in through pink, even though it said light blue. So. There I go, right there. That's where I'm looking for. Hey, get out of the way, fella. Fuck off. Uh, Vacheron, let's not taunt the men with machine guns. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of the whole stop when your thing goes down. I mean, okay, if it, like, stopped for a second and then you were able to keep going, that'd be great. But I think I see my destination now and I need to... I need to go back in here, don't I? It's going to be that top one. But yeah, I think it should just let you keep going eventually after you um, are stopped for a second. Okay, leave, leave the nice man alone. Thank you, thank you, Vesheron. Uh, I'm assuming I'm assuming we're going to be able to come back here at some point and be able to. Hang out in here with our regular party. That'd be great. Why would they hire hoodlums for a, a wedding? Um, not, not not just a wedding. I was gonna say wedding. Uh, security. Well, wedding security detail. I mean, I get that they want to make sure everything's safe and all, but the whole hoodlum thing. Probably not the best idea. Ooh, and a level up does give you HP back. Perfect. Uh, you know what? That's actually perfect. Grab, grab that. Grab that. And get out. Green. Hey, fuck off. Jeez, guy. Fuck off for 10 seconds. So far, this solo mission is actually slightly easier than the boss fight that we had. Are you serious? I have to fight a helicopter by myself? Actually, it's more like a truck copter, but still, that's besides the point. Uh, Dragonfly. Um, okay, we gotta get rid of these fuckers. Yeah, let's get rid of these guys, that way we don't have to deal with them later. Uh, let's go with the hand grenade plus pluses for extra damage here. That should do a good amount of damage to them. All of them, actually. Okay, that did some damage. Not really as much as I was hoping, but enough to actually be reasonably effective there. Get him. Perfect. I think another hero run should finish off those uh, other two as well, and then we can grenade them. And then hopefully this guy does not do anything at all. Okay, that's fine, I guess, but... If you're trying to kill me, you're not doing a very good job there, Mr. Helicopter. And let's go ahead and... Okay, now he's doing a good job. Let's go ahead and get our hand grenades back on. I think our pluses should be fine. 
Not what I was going for. Okay. For a second I thought I was still on the um, machine gun and I was like, that's not going to work out as well as I would like. Okay, you're airborne. That's perfect. Uh, I'm going to be airborne in a second if I don't actually kill this guy. Actually, I'll be six feet under, but still. Airborne, dead, same general difference, I guess. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm going to have to get rid of you at some point. Okay, so now we just got to figure out a way to not get killed by the helicopter here. If I just run around like this, that'll recover my HP a little bit. Probably not enough to actually keep me alive, but you know, might be decent. Um, actually, he is a helicopter, so he might be vulnerable to electricity. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and start with a hero run. Yeah, we gotta get rid of his armor. Okay, that got rid of all my, maybe not all of them, but a fair chunk of my bezel. And I don't think he can actually, I was gonna say, I don't think he can collect them since he's up on the air, but I think he actually can. Huh. Stop. I hate that. I, I get that, I get that I can't just move around forever even though I'm by myself, even though I really should be able to, but the whole, the whole, uh, stopping until you have to remove the control stick is just a little irritating. Okay, that did some damage to you. Not really all that much, though. Yeah, I figured I figured that would probably happen with the uh, the rotor blades, but I was hoping it would. Okay, let's just go this way, and then we're gonna jump after we're out of the range. Yeah, I really gotta figure out how to get the. I gotta figure out the best way to get rid of your armor there, because that's causing lots of problems here, guy. Okay, come on. You have to be able to die at some point. Um. I'm gonna guess that poison does not do jack shit to this guy. Uh, we have plenty of Molotov Cocktail Plus Pluses, so I'm gonna go ahead and give those a shot, since I have so many of them. At the very least, it might help to get rid of his shield, even if it's not going to actually do a whole lot of damage to him. Yeah, I was hoping that that would actually do a lot more damage to a shield there, but no such luck. Okay, let's give a nice hero run here. And that should actually do direct damage since we are... Yeah, okay, that's perfect. Easy. Got him. We just had to destroy half of his shield. Okay, this is actually much easier than that other fight that we had. Uh, Ricky Grenade, I think you should be fine. Or whatever grenade I picked. And that's not the one that I needed right there. And you recovered a bunch of your health there, but luckily we managed to potentially kill you. I don't know why this is going so slow. Come on, get him. He's like right next to you, dude. You can do damage. Go for it. Why is it not doing damage? I need damage done. Uh, let's get behind you, I guess. There, that should do damage, I hope. I think it was hitting the shield there. I think we got him. Perfect, we got a level up as well. Charge cancel rate 10%, which I don't think we actually see too much of. We got a bezel shard, very nice.
boring. I know. Jean Paulet left us a ring. Sure. You mean this? Hey, Zephyr, as long as we're here. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> Scaredy cat. I am not. What about the kiss? <laughs> what? Kiss? Nothing personal, but I need to borrow your bride. You and I? Vaxxeron? You and him and you? What the hell's going on? Daddy does not approve! Us? What are you doing here? Oh, this is a bit much, even for an old pro like me. But are we on different sides of the same job? How much he paying you? Get out! Oh, that's a cardinal for you. Hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll pretend the two of you beat me. Uh, you sure that wouldn't bruise your ego? Nope. I doubt anyone would believe we beat you anyway. Yeah, well, these days, you never can tell. Getty does not approve. That's great. You would think that he actually would he actually wouldn't mind because you know he knows both of them. He knows they're both good kids or adults. I mean, I, I think they're both like eighteen. I think or nineteen. So I, I I personally wouldn't have any problem with it. I mean, heck, they're all living together anyway. Shit. Oh, there we go. I guess that is done there. Um. Crap, now I gotta put my stuff back on. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and put you back on the PDW, back on the first aid kit. Zephyr, we need you. Um, heat protector and. Auto trigger, aka beautiful. Uh, let's see, Zephyr, we want you back on the 1191.45, I do believe it is. Yes, I do. And I... hang on a tick. There you go, that's the stuff. And how about, let's see... Let's give the toxicity a shield, because they're, they like poisoning us for no real good reason other than, hey, why not? I guess we can probably go back in here and, like, redo the area, but I don't know if there's anything actually worthwhile in here. So, you know what? I'm not going to bother. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume there's nothing worthwhile in there, and they'll probably send us in there in another chapter for another mission or something. We'll figure it out then. For now, let's go ahead and... Well, head back down to home, I guess. That was actually a nice short mission. I like that. That actually worked out really well. It wasn't extra irritating or anything, so... We, we need more like those. And hopefully... Now I'm not going to say it, because every time I say hopefully there's no more solo missions, there's another freaking solo mission. So I give up. I'm just going to assume from now on that all missions are solo, because fuck the player. I mean, we're in chapter 12. As far as I know, there's 14 or 16 chapters, I think. I'm not entirely sure how many, but I know it's around that. Actually, can I, can I look at like the trophy thingy here? It might give us a, like a general idea. Oh, we're thirty-six percent of the way through the trophies there. Um, 
A trophy for storing over 20 resonance points. I don't think I'm ever going to get that, so... A combo of over 500 hits. Characters level to 100. Platinum. That's one platinum I'm never going to get, unfortunately. But whatever. 100 bonus hits. 3,000 enemies. 3, 000, destroying 3,000 enemy body parts. Throwing over 1,000 attack items. I'm pretty sure I've thrown up a lot, but not that many, that's for sure. Defeating over 30 enemies with no weapon equipped. Yeah, about that. Uh, fused and scrapped over 200 items. Okay, I was hoping this would say, like, oh, there's, um, four distinct terminals. I was hoping it would say, like, oh, uh, chapter whatever trophy, and then that would give me a hint as to if it's 14 or 16. I know it's something like that, but I'm not sure what. But either way, we're in the home stretch, that's for sure. Did I actually go down? Okay, sometimes I don't actually go down the frickin' elevator and I manage to not get to where I'm supposed to be going. Ah, right, what do you got? Double sub-barrel and first aid EX. Actually, I think, I think that double sub-barrel is something that is being used. Multi-barrel... Okay, flash sub barrel, that's the one I have right there. Uh, let me see what this double sub barrel does. L barrel adapter, not something I bought earlier. Double sub barrel that has two X's. Uh, 5% charge acceleration versus 3% each. So it's nice. And if I could if I could have if I could spare extra slots, it would work out pretty well. But at the moment, I think the double flash sub barrels is actually working out fine right there. Uh, yeah, double sub barrels. Actually, I could put something like this over here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's take a quick second to do this real fast. I'm not going to do a whole lot, just uh, some. Where'd you go? Yeah, let's put you right there. And then if we put I guess I don't have any made. Okay, never mind. Didn't work out quite as well as I was thinking there. I was thinking of These right here, because they give plus one charge acceleration right there. So if I gave that to that right there, that'd give him a little extra charge acceleration. Not that it's really that big of a deal, but your charge speed is really low, dude. Like, especially compared to the machine gunners, that's really low. Anyways, let's check what missions they have available for us. We'll probably do those next episode, but uh, I just want to see what they actually have available at the moment. I'm hoping it's saying something about this damn suitcase. I'm not going to get my hopes up, but that is my hope. Hey, the little wheelchair girl is probably asleep. Never mind, I was going to say she's gone, but she's probably just off taking a nap somewhere. <laughs> because as far as I can tell, it's the middle of the night. Yeah, I figured that out, but it's not always easy. Well, of course it makes sense. Just the thing is trying to actually get it to go where you want it to go. Uh, let's see. Going gangbusters. We report that the rebel group has made contact with the gangsters that rule over the Albona area on level 10. We believe it is an attempt to merge forces. The present whereabouts of the rebels are unknown. To prevent the merger, hunters in the vicinity are to join the fight against the gangsters. Well, on the plus side, they get 15,000 rubies out of it. Christmas cheer. Uh, okay, we get hollow point round EXs, which is really nice right there. Christmas cheer, we get an expander grip. Uh, I planted a Christmas party for the children, but I don't have much in the way of decorations. Could you help me find something they'd enjoy? Teresa's Manor. Not available as trash. And electric grenade EX, or plus plus. I've been searching for some armanium, but it's not anything you can find just lying around. Can, someone, can anyone get some for me? 
Okay. So... I'm gonna see if that old man has any idea about where that is. Because he might. Because, you know, he's crazy like that. <laughs> yeah, the wedding was okay, actually. I've learned pretty much everything about the damn, like, world and such. Okay, he's not going to tell us anything. But anyways, we managed to get a pretty decent amount done this episode. And next time, we're going to go ahead and keep on working on those side quests. So guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night. Okay, I made the mistake of going back to the base and forgetting that there's a cutscene. So I'm going to shut up and this will end off the episode. This ring is a symbol. It is a symbol of Zenith's vow of eternal loyalty to you. How does it feel? How does it feel to have a god at your command? I look forward to seeing the fruit your research has borne. Of course. But first, there's something I want to tell you. What could you possibly need to tell me now? Something you, as a cardinal, must know all too well. Tell me, what is written in the last book of the scriptures? The death of God Sybil. Very good. And what else? The Sibyl's... Rebirth? The Second Coming? A subject well worth pursuing, don't you think? Bastard! You'd use our dead prelate for a shield? You mustn't think that I don't trust you, Rowan. But once I've told you how to use the key, I'll only be a nuisance who knows your secrets. You understand. You mean... Frida could be reborn? No. That's impossible. I can't accept it. I won't! Mind you, nothing is certain. I speak only of possibilities. The possibility of a true miracle. A miracle? We should be going. Zenith awaits. Of course I'll show you how to use the key.